Hi everybody, welcome to my video today that aims to help you prepare a personal statement for a nursing degree. This is the section where you write some free text about why you want to become a nurse, what's drawn you to nursing, and you align the qualities and experiences that you already have to support this application for nursing. It's the most important part as shortlisters use it to decide whether to call you for interview or not. So this video is going to be helpful for anyone applying for a pre-registration nursing degree through UCAS. You may be applying for a registered nursing degree apprenticeship or a trainee nursing associate foundation degree. The principles and advice will be the same whatever field of nursing you're applying for. Lots of tips in the video. Just to know, I also have videos on my YouTube channel for any of you preparing for interviews later. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I release videos on Sundays to support nurses and nursing associates with their career develop, um, development at all different levels and there's lots more videos on my channel that will help with future assignments as well. So I hope you find this talk helpful today. So in this video I'm going to give you some simple preparation tips before you start writing. I'll talk through some important reading and groundwork that you need to do to inform your personal statement and I'll give you some practical example sentences and paragraphs to help structure an example personal statement. So if any of you've got interviews coming up in the future, these videos might help. I've got videos on preparing for interview questions with example questions, how to overcome nerves, questions to ask at the end of a nursing interview. And if you have a group nursing interview, some tips on how you prepare for group work and group discussion in interviews. So I hope those help. So my first key tip is to allocate time to prepare for your personal statement. The personal statement can be a deal breaker regarding whether an applicant's shortlisted for a nursing degree or not. Usually you will not be shortlisted and offered an interview if you've only given a sentence or two of why you want to be a nurse. Don't just write a couple of sentences with little thought because you think, well, we need nurses in the UK, so they won't mind if I don't spend a lot of time on my personal statement. I've got the A-levels, I've got the access course. You still need to show that you've made an effort and demonstrate that you're the right person for the course and for nursing. Some universities and courses are very popular as well. You might be competing with places on a particular course. And if your personal statement is poor, then you risk not being shortlisted and it's just not worth the risk. Also, you should not just cut and paste someone else's personal statement or copy narrative from a video as it shows if you're using generic statements that aren't aligned to your personal past experiences. I'm going to give you lots of tips of how to prepare and write a personal statement that reflects you as a person. You also might be asked questions about what you wrote in a personal statement. So for example, an interviewer might say, I see that you've written that you think nursing um, nurses need to be highly proficient and competent and that's because you copied those words off a website but you don't really know what the words mean. Obviously if you understand those words it's fine to use them but the key point here really that I'm trying to make is that you understand what you've written and perhaps other words might suit your style of writing better such as being diligent or reliable, a good communicator who's good at problem solving. So keep to language that you know. So my second key tip is to adhere to the guidance on the application form as there's going to be usually guidance information there to help you. Usually write in a personal statement in full sentences as opposed to bullet points. Always do what's requested on the application form. So for example, in the guidance notes, it might ask you to state your reasons for applying, highlight your relevant past experiences. So you make sure you do this. You don't just write a whole long statement on what you think nursing is and the challenges in nurses, nursing with just one sentence sentence on why you applied at the end. So do what is requested. Adhere to the word count as well. Usually online personal statements don't let you add additional words, but try to use the words allocate, allocated. It doesn't have to be exact number, but try to fill at least three quarters of the statement, for example, where possible. Always proofread your narrative for mistakes. You can always ask other people to read it and proofread it for you. There's nothing wrong with people supporting you with the language, spelling. I have a family member with dyslexia and I know there's also software tools out there as well to assist people with dyslexia. Tip three, complete background preparation and make notes so you know exactly what you're applying for, what does the degree entail, 
you understand what nurses do, what or nursing associate does, and the qualities and attributes of a nurse or nursing associate. These notes will help inform your personal statement. They'll also help you for interviews um, later when you're answering questions. So I've presented a few pointers to help you do this systematically. Firstly, review the course handbook and any course or programme information. This should be available on university websites. If it's not, contact course module leads for course handbooks. You can download documents from websites as well. You may find information at a university open day. Often they'll give you information and you can speak to course leads about the course and make notes if you attend those sort of events as well. Universities often have excellent interviews you can watch relating to nursing and students talking as well. All universities have an allocated course lead. You can email them or telephone the course administrator who will link you to the course lead and answer questions as well. Basically, make notes about the programme, for example, the types of teaching and learning taking place. Is the programme made up of different core modules or certain topics? Does it reflect a blended learning approach that combines face to face and online activities? You may have a range of teaching seminars or self-directed study, for example. Do you have a range of assessments such as poster presentations, essays or observed skills assessment? These are the sort of things you need to be looking for. How do the placements work in the clinical areas? Do you have a range of placements, for example, community, hospital based um, placements? And you can really stand out as an applicant if you've got some knowledge about the degree programme you're going to be doing. And you can also state this as a reason for choosing a particular course or university on your statement. Next, you should research what is nursing and what a registered nurse does or a nursing associate does linked to your fields of nursing that you're applying for. So start because you could be applying for mental health, adult nursing, learning disability or children's nursing. It's great to start with um, nursing and midwifery council website standards of proficiency. So we have standards of proficiency for registered nurses and registered nursing associates. And these standards of proficiency represent the skills, the knowledge and attributes required for those roles. For example, there are currently seven platforms for registered nurses. And one example is leading and managing care and working in a team. And this is very helpful when you're picking out your achievements and highlighting core transferable skills that you have and aligning them to this application for nursing. Also, it's helpful to watch videos. You could watch the Royal College of Nursing has some wonderful videos. Health NHS careers videos are available on the Department of Health um, websites and they've got videos across all different fields of nursing and they have videos such as a day in the life of a nurse uh, or a nursing associate talking about their role. And you can gain a great amount of insights from watching videos. And then another way, um, another tip is to network with registered nurses or nursing associates. There's lots of nurses and nursing associates out there that would love to talk to you. There's lots of nursing forums on Facebook and Twitter, for example. There's the Royal College of Nursing Student Facebook account, the UK Student Nurse Support and Advice Facebook group. And if you ask a question, you usually get some lots of constructive advice and help there as well. As part of your background reading, also have a look at the six C's in health and social care too. They are care, compassion, competence, communication, courage and commitment. The six C's came from the Compassion in Practice strategy that was devised by Jane Cummings, NHS England Chief Nursing Officer, and they were launched in December 2012. The six C's are a set of values for all health and social care staff that are essential for compassionate care. And you can find them on online on Department of Health websites. They are the foundations for providing high quality care to patients. Once you've made notes on the background information, spend some time to reflect on core skills, attributes and qualities of a nurse. What qualities and skills do you think a nurse needs after you've done all your reading? You might end up with some core areas such as good communicator, knowledgeable that makes them safe and competent, a team worker, problem solver, analytical, systematic, organised, able to deal with challenges and pressures as working environments are always changing. Nurses is always, nursing is always evolving and dynamic. So you have to deal with change as a nurse. 
being able to prioritise and lead patient care goals. And you can come up with some different ones, um, but it's very helpful to reflect on those core skills and attributes and qualities of a nurse. So tip four, you can start to plan your personal statement now. You've made your notes from your background reading and you can start to form some sections. And I've got some example sections here. Firstly, why do you want to become a nurse? So the previous background lead reading should help here. What drew you to nursing? Was it being ill yourself and seeing how nurses cared for you? Or had you cared for a family member? Have you always enjoyed supporting people or teaching people? Was it watching a Royal College of Nursing video or talking to a nurse? Were you inspired by specialist or community nurses and the way they problem solved or worked in a team when you were a support worker? Is it the dynamic nature of nursing and the way every day is different? Is it the evolving scientific evidence base and the learning about health that interests you? Everybody's going to be coming with a different reason. Are you a good communicator who likes meeting different people rather than working in an office? Is it the range of career opportunities? So these reasons will be unique to you. Then think about why have you chosen to apply for this particular course or university? So again, the background reading that I asked you to do uh, will help you with this, um, especially linked to the specific fields of nursing, the course or the university. What appealed to you? Is it the university location? Is it the type of course, for example, the blended learning approach with face to face lectures and online sessions? Does the university have a very good reputation? Is it because of necessity as it's near to home for placements and you have a family based in the area? Be honest. Um, that's you know an absolutely good reason um, for choosing that university. And then what qualities, attributes and skills do you possess that align to nursing? So you need to think about your past experiences. And are you a compassionate person, for example, wanting to support others? Are you interested in always learning and developing yourself? Because healthcare science is always evolving. You'll always be a lifelong learner as a nurse or a nursing associate. Do you value being non-judgmental and respectful of different people's views? Do you value working with others, working in a team? Are you hardworking? Are you able to deal with challenges using a systematic approach? Um, do you have core communication skills and enjoy goal planning with others to complete projects? Again, it'll be unique to you. Then um, the next section may be highlight achievements to demonstrate some of these core qualities um, and that you can complete the, to show that you can complete the course. So have you made a positive difference to someone through your support? Have you completed any awards? You know, if you're a school leaver, it could be a Duke of Edinburgh that shows commitment and hard work. It could be working in a charity shop or voluntary work. Um, it could be completing an access course as a support worker. So draw on examples from school, voluntary or charity work, past jobs, Anything where you've worked with the public, for example, working in a coffee shop or retail is wonderful because you're working with the public, which is similar to nursing. Um, and you'll have dealt with lots of different issues and different types of people from different backgrounds. And have you overcome challenges and completed projects with others that require a range of skills? And then another section could be what are your future ambitions and aspirations? So some of you might already know that you want to be, I don't know, a Macmillan nurse, for example, um, because the Macmillan nurse cared for your mum or just being a registered nurse and um, looking at future opportunities. You're not quite sure, but you know that you want to become a nurse and that nursing will provide this range of opportunities. That's fine to sort of put in that section. And then you end always on a positive relating to your future academic and professional ambitions, just in a couple of sentences. And it's these final sentences that should summarize and make an impact as you're marking yourself, marketing yourself. So I'm going to give some example narrative as well that might help you. So another key tip when planning your sections and examples, just before I give you some an example narrative, is to think about the so what. When you're describing what you've done, so for example here we've got over the last year as a healthcare support worker on a busy neuroscience ward, I've cared for a wide variety of patients with spinal and brain conditions. Now that's fantastic experience, but to move that to that personal statement into outstanding level, um, you need to think about the so what. So what about this experience did I learn? How did this experience develop my skill set? Or what did you learn about yourself? 
or what impact did you have? What impact did that experience have on the patients you care for now or the team, for example? Um, so it's important to put what you've what, what you achieved in your um, personal statement to pick out the best examples because you don't want loads and loads of different examples. You know, sometimes two or three core examples will show that you work well in a team, that you can deal with challenges or that you can problem solve or that you're a good communicator. It depends what sort of values you want to pick out and what your strengths are. Um, so present examples that really demonstrate your learning and your skill development that align to nursing. Um, and I'm going to present some example um, narrative. So I thought it's helpful just to see some example narrative. You write your own and it needs to be personal to you for doing the background information I gave earlier. But it just gives you an idea of some of the sort of narrative that you could put in and you can use as templates potentially as well. It might be helpful. So this one's relating to a school leaver doing an access course. So after leaving school in July 2023, I completed a health and social care access course, or it could be work experience that you've done to decide whether healthcare was for me. So you're talking about your journey of, go, of why you've come to apply. During this time, I gained a keen interest in hospital ward nursing and adult care, or it could have been during a range of placements. If you had a range of placements, you might have been in the community in hospice care. I enjoyed caring for patients and working in a team. There may be other elements that you enjoyed. The dynamic nature of nursing appealed to me in this case, as I cared for a range of patients with various biopsychosocial needs. During my course placements, I, and then you could um, uh, explain what you did or, or what you enjoyed and highlight an example. It's helpful if you've done courses or done placements um, or you work as a practice, as if you work as a health and um, care support worker that you you could draw on an appraisal for example you could say my line manager described me as in an appraisal if you've had good appraisal feedback in this case on an access course there should be practice supervisor feedback um, if you're in a job you could talk about an appraisal at work um, and it's highlighting you know your, your qualities and your attributes um, so another example sentence might be the highlight of my placements were um, and you might bring in a, a specific example. So you enabled individuals to feel better taking them to the shops on shifts. Um, you set up patient bingo in a day room um, if you worked in a nursing home and state the impact that had on patients. Um, did it have a positive impact and make them happy, for example? So it's highlighting those examples. So this person has a different journey. Um, this is somebody that's mature and it's nice to give an overview of how you got to the position of applying, as I said. So this example, having a large family meant it was difficult to commit the time to a nursing degree until now. My children are older and I now feel able to pursue my aspirations to become a nurse. This led me to apply for an access course last year to meet the requirements for this adult nursing degree. During my access course, I developed key academic and practice skills in placement. Um, and nursing um, is for anybody to apply for and we really value people with mature um, people that have those life experiences so don't let that put you off applying. So some more example narrative you can write it in whatever way you want but I'm hoping that some of this narrative inspires you to get started because I know how hard it is sometimes. So this example is to demonstrate skills so for volunteering in a food bank which is a great experience to align to nursing. Um, so since leaving school last year I have been volunteering in a local food bank you might want to name the food bank to provide emergency food and compassionate support to people in crisis. So that's describing what happened, what you did. Um, during this time, my confidence communicating with members of the public has increased as I support people from a variety of social and ethnic backgrounds where English is not their first language. So this is a fantastic um, describing what specifically they learn. What are they developing? What skills are they developing? Working in a food bank, so this is showing impact, the so what. Working in a food bank has also helped me to develop core organisational leadership skills. Thinking about how, as I arrange the setup of food stands every week and catalogue food items, they're actually saying how they've developed those organisational um, leadership skills. 
Then next is the impact. I am now able to orientate new starters to our food bank and I have received excellent feedback on my supportive and compassionate nature and hardworking approach. So you can see from this just one paragraph here how this person has started to align core skills a nurse needs to their role in a food bank demonstrating those core skills and qualities. They're using keywords such as compassion, organisation, leadership skills, and able to support people from different backgrounds, hard working. You could add more examples here demonstrating more skills and values where you supported a person that, was, that had an addiction or someone with dementia, someone with sight or hearing um, impairment or a learning disability an example of problem solving. So for example, in, in a food bank, you could notice that some of the elderly visitors, um, I, don't, I couldn't read the labels, for example. So you wrote the labels in bigger writing or that you noticed that the mums were having difficulty with their children. So you had a little childcare section um, and sort of led that little project there. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do, uh, you know, just with one example. So again, this is another example from working in retail and you're not working in healthcare. During my time as a cashier in a busy supermarket, I worked hard to meet the needs of customers using the support of the team. We carried out time sensitive tasks and we were under pressure to deliver, especially when staff were off sick. We had to get through long customer queues and I always listened to customer concerns and kept calm and professional during these times. I used my communication skills to positively support customer questions and explain any delays. My manager commended my positive communication with others. In my last appraisal, my manager stated that I was always polite, professional, hardworking and supported others in the team. So again, this is a great example aligned to core skills required as a nurse and on a nursing course, remaining calm under pressure, professional, good communication skills, listening and positive team working are demonstrated. So I thought it'd be good to have an example from a family life experience as not everyone's going to have worked in a job necessarily. So during the last year, I've been supporting my granddad with Parkinson's disease, which I found very rewarding. Over the last year, our family worked together as a team to enable him to stay at home with carers. I often sat with my granddad in the evening and I supported him when he had tremors. He found it difficult to hold his cutlery and I would help feed him and shave him. I observed the advanced skills of community nurses when they visit. Visited, visited, sorry, which made me realise that I wanted to pursue a career in nursing. The nurses also felt that I had the caring qualities required for nursing, such as, and then you can go on. So this is a great example of somebody realising that nursing was for them. So this example is a great one for mental health and is linked to volunteering in a charity shop. Over the last two years, I've volunteered in a charity shop. This enabled me to observe the impact that mental illness has on individuals and families. On occasion, I supported people who were distressed in the shop due to mental illness or addiction problems. These experiences helped to develop my communication skills as I had to comfort people who were distressed. I learned that you need to be calm, respectful and listen to the person in these situations. We also had a system to call for help urgently if a person had a breakdown in the shop or they needed urgent medical assistance. So this is drawing out link, links to key nursing skills such as problem solving, being non-judgmental, communication, ensuring that customers were safe. So again, a great example here. I thought it might also be helpful to give you some narrative link to the university. Um, I feel that gaining my nursing degree in your reputable institution, or you could put university, will enable me to experience a blended learning approach that suits my learning style. And you could add a little bit about what blended learning is like um, face to face or online. This university nursing programme also offers a wide variety of community and hospital placements to enable me to develop wide ranging knowledge and skills in nursing. Or it might be the dyslexia, the support for people with dyslexia. So the support for students with dyslexia will be particularly helpful to meet my learning needs. You might want to put in a few that bit more there. Um, or there is a range of support for students offered in your university that led to my application, such as an active student union and free monthly keynote speakers to debate current issues. So it's clear here that the applicant has took the trouble to look into the university and the course content. So some more narrative linked to the course, but brings in a university open day that the 
um, person attended. So during a recent university open day, I met the mental health nursing program lead and current students who discussed the opportunities in placement and the different types of teaching and learning taking place on modules. I was impressed by the passion the students had for nursing and the support they were given in placements by their practice supervisors. Or if you didn't attend an open day, you could say, following my recent review of the mental health nursing course handbook and program website, I feel that this course will offer and give a bit of detail. Um, this degree course particularly appeals to me as there is a combination of face to face lectures and seminars, seminars, along with self directed online activities that can, can be completed at home. I am used to self directed stu study following my recent access course, or it could be A levels, and I have developed core academic writing skills as I critically analysed healthcare journals to inform my assessment essays and poster presentations. Or you might link the academic side to schoolwork or another type of course. It's good to have some example narrative relating to your academic ability and your developing academic skills. So having a sentence that you've recently completed courses, it could be A levels, access course that has developed your academic skills and talk about the assessments you've completed and the sorts of skills that you're developing, such as critical appraisal, managing your assignments. Um, if you failed anything and later pass, mention it because this shows tenacity. It shows that you've got to pick yourself up and carried on um, and give examples where you've developed any academic writing, debating skills or discussion skills during the course as well. You might put something like, although I found presentations challenging at the start of my course, I developed my academic skills to achieve. And then you can talk about what you achieved. Um, and you're drawing out knowledge and skills that can be used on the degree course or on your placements. But um, academic skills would be for your assignments. And finally, some example narratives summarising and marketing you at the end. In summary, I am a kind, compassionate person who aspires to develop my knowledge and skills in nursing to make a difference to people's lives. I'm a highly motivated learner who enjoys finding solutions to problems and utilising team support to complete projects, goals and work streams. Um, but you need to, this needs to be personal to you. So these not might, this might, might not suit what you want to write. You could be hardworking, committed, or someone who will keep going when they're faced with challenges. So using your words is important. Someone with an interest in health science who aspires to become a nurse researcher, it depends on you as a person, but it needs to be honest, reflect you and not just be what you think the inter the person shortlisting wants to read. Previous examples need to align to what you say at the end. Um, so it needs to align with the example skills and, and that you've been presenting earlier. Nursing will enable me to develop my communication and problem solving skills further. Previous managers have described me as a positive team worker who goes over and beyond to support others. In the future, I aspire to become a Macmillan nurse like my mum, and I hope that you will consider my application. Um, it might be that you don't know what type of nurse um, nursing that you want to go into, which is fine, but just becoming a registered nurse is your aspiration for now. Or you could aspire to become a nurse tutor or a leader or a researcher or a specialist nurse or just excited to see where a career in nursing would take you. Um, or I hope to take future opportunities available to progress my career further in nursing. This is going to be individual to you. So in summary, allocate time to prepare your personal statement using the tips I've given you on the previous slides. Don't copy other people's personal statements. It's unique to you. Do the background reading research to inform your personal statement. Plan the different sections and paragraphs before you start. You've got your notes ready. Highlight your best examples and think about the so what, the impact of the experience. So wish you good luck with your applications. I have a very helpful book, How to Prepare for Interviews and Develop Your Career as a Nurse or Midwife, with lots of example personal statements, interview questions, up to band eight senior nurse and midwifery posts. So that will stand you in good stead for your career. And you um, can link in the description to buy it if you wish. Um, if you have any questions at all, put them in the YouTube comments or you can DM me on Twitter or on my website if you don't want to put it out in the public because it will be public if it's on the comments on YouTube. So good luck all of you with your applications.